Jashmatji, it's a pleasure to have Janet Fisher for a, 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 a Zoom interview, uh, an audio to share her memories with Srimatji Nirmala Devi. Uh, Janet got her realization in 1982. Could we please request you to tell us where you were and what you were doing when you got your realization, Janet? And thank you very much for joining us, of course. Okay, my pleasure. So, uh, in 1982, I was in London, uh, living in London. I'd been living in London for a good few years, but uh, I was from Birmingham. My home was in Birmingham, um, but I'd lived in London for years. And I was in a very bad state in 1982. Um, my mother had died a few months before, and I was very close to my mother. And also, I had come to the end of a love affair. So I was in a bad state. And the doctor had given me tranquilizers. And they weren't working. I was still in a bad state. I went back to the doctor, and he gave me more, uh, heavier tranquilizer. I took one of these tranquilizers and was like a zombie. And that night, I prayed to God, there must be another way. And the very next day, um, I, I didn't feel like cooking, so I went for a pizza, and I stopped on the train at one stop. And, and the only available seat in the restaurant was a young man. I asked if I could sit next to him. And it was John Pearson. Anyway, I ordered my pizza and I was reading a book on how to deal with depression. And um, John leaned over and said, excuse me, are you reading that book out of academic interest? I just remember his words. Uh, I said, no, it's a personal problem. And he just started telling me about Srimataji and Sad Yoga. And that very night, I was so blessed. Srimataji was talking in person in Hampstead that very night. And I, I went along with John. He told me all about it. I just went along. We were late, so we sat at the back. I didn't get my realization that night. And Srimataji, as she was leaving, she stopped at me and she said, uh, um, she said, she talked, she said, uh, her mother is laying on her heart. Tell your mother you're all right. I mean, this is what she said. Wow. Uh, just as she was leaving. Um, you... Then the next and uh, on the Monday, she was talking at Caxton Hall. This was on the Thursday at Hampstead, and Monday she was talking. And that weekend, a lot of things happened. Uh, you probably know, Sarjogis know. Just, I knew I had to go back to see her. And yeah. on the Monday, I sat in the front row. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Srimatudi was talking, and she talked about Christ. Well, I'm Jewish. I'm from a Jewish background. And yes. she, and I, I said, but mother, we called her mother then. We didn't call her Srimatudi. I said, mother, I've been taught not to believe in, in Jesus Christ. And she just said, you've been taught wrong, my dear. Wow. And then uh, when the workshop came, somebody worked on me, and I had this vision, of very fleeting vision of Christ on the cross. And then floods and floods of tears came. I, I did it emotional. I still feel in love. It wow. floods and, and she called me to her and put my head in her lap, and I wet her sorry with my tears. Oh. Um, 
and you know then it, it was and then everybody came up to me Fergie I, I'm sure I remember Fergie coming up to me and young men lots of people yes. came up and talked to me and Ray Harris I don't know if you know yes. Ray Harris yes. uh, he's Jewish and he says I want, and she mattered, you said, there are lots of Jews here, my dear. There are lots of Jews. Amazing. Um, so it was quite an emotional story, really. I was very, very blessed to be Indeed. in her presence. Indeed, yes. And and this was about uh, sometime in the summer of 1982, Janet? Yes, I think it was June. I I should remember, but I I don't. I don't. That's that's fine. I, I just I I sure it was summer. Yes. So, yes. So, so, yeah. Oh wow! Um, how lucky to 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 have you know prayed to God, and then God gives you realization on on the Monday, and uh, she says. Yes. Yeah, on the Thursday preceding yes. the Monday, and, I, and I've never looked back since. And and always in a crisis or mm. uh, when there's trouble, three messages there. You know, she's with me. In oh. uh, I'm eighty six now, and I'm not in good health, yes. but but she still looks after me. It is um, amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. You're so grateful. Uh, for for this love and the care yes. that, and all her attention on her children, all of us, isn't it? It's yeah. it's really um amazing, interesting um um because earlier this this morning we were talking to Agba from Iran, and now we are talking to you and and you mentioned you you are of the jewish background and um hopefully cosmically things um you know get resolved quite quickly um would you share with us uh, at this point the um miracle that you'd experienced i mean i i being in mother's lap for for in itself is such a huge thing, isn't it? That must have been so comforting and reassuring. But oh yes, and, and um, afterwards, of course, I told all my friends and my family. I just wanted to spread it with everyone. And do uh, you know Vicky Halprin? Yes, Vicky. Yes. She was a good friend, and what? she. She came along to see what I'd got into. She worried what I'd got into. <laughs> and then Vicky went in with two feet, absolutely. <laughs> yes. And then she brought Steve Martin along. So that Amazing. was, you know, a chain really. Amazing. My sister, uh, my brother, he was too into the Jewish religion. To him, you know, he wouldn't understand, and he was a simple guy. Yes. He died um, last year, my brother, but but my sister came along, and she recognises mother. Mm. Uh, I put all mother's photographs around her house and in her car. Right. But she doesn't follow it. She recognises mother, yes. but she, she, she doesn't stick on, you know. Yes. I mean, everyone has their own calling as their own journey, yes. isn't it? It's yes. so very individual and yes. very unique. So all I can say is I have been very, very blessed. Indeed. very. And blessed. in the later years, I, I don't go to meetings. I pull my ears, really. <clears throat> but Shrimataji still looks after me. And Fergie's come. All I've been in hospital recently, I think you know. Yes. And he's been visiting me, and yes. he's he such a good man, and he's doing such wonders now with this this yes. concert he's just organised. Did he tell you about it? Yes, the 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 yes. one in July. Um, yes, yes, definitely. And you, you, Sushmina, tell me about you a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um. <It's>, uh, <laughs> um. Well, um, we. 
I, I, I'm an Indian. I grew up, I was born in uh, Calcutta. Now oh, were well, you right? Um, grew up in Lucknow, which is where my parents are based. Um, and uh, and my parents uh, have been Sahaja Yogis and my younger brother. We used to go to uh, Srimataji's birthday pujas in Delhi, um, where I worked as well. And then Srimataji married me to uh, Shankar here in England. And so I came to England um, in 2002. Um, and so, yeah, here we are. I mean... We went to, uh, we thought we would like to live in India and our children, we have two children, they went to uh, Srimataji's school in Dharamshala and we loved India a lot. And I think Shankarji, because of, of me being Indian, he and he, he was in India before his self-realization, uh, seeking God. Um, uh, so, you know, we thought, okay, we're moving to India, lock, stock and barrel, which we did um in 2011 but as you say Srimataji looks after us uh every moment so she she brought us there as my father <laughs> said uh on in her hand you know she brought us to um ISPS which is International Sahaj Public School and uh, both of us taught there in um in the school for a while for four and a half years we were there and uh, it was a big privilege, in fact, one of the biggest blessings of our lives to be part of such a lovely collective and, um, you know, realized souls. And uh, then we came back. We are in Kent at the moment. And yeah, and this is a project that we started um because growing up, I mean, in India, I, I'm sure you know, um belief in god is is not a question it's just there we know that yes. Yes. um so we used to you know there were always books and talks of saints like kabir das ram das so many so many saints so um and sai baba shirdi sai baba so uh, long ago um my father, he said, um, we were, re well, I had read, like you probably have, you know, Arthur Osborne's um, book on Sai Baba, which, 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 re it's like recollections that Linda Williams has done, where the miracles are stated, like Sai Baba lit um, the lamps with water. Uh, so now if you read it with a modern brain, you would think, ah, oh, this is to be a fiction. It can't be true. So my papa said, you have to, you have to um, do things so that people in the future for posterity can actually recognize and remember that Sri Mataji actually took this incarnation. She has been on earth as a human being because of you know what she has done um and so this project started and it's amazing it's not just an individual thing because uh um on a collective level fergie was a big help in organizing we did the golden memories interviews in 2010 when our children uh, when our uh, elder child was at isps and our younger child was at boratin in the summer and then we did another one in 2011 and Fergie was a big help in organizing because England as as you know is the heart of the universe but yes, yes. I, <laughs> I was quite quite new to to know all these uh yogis of the early days um so it, it was really nice and it was it was so joy giving those interviews because the vibrations just kept increasing and everyone kept remembering more and more stories as we talked about Trimataji. And each story is so unique because, I mean, you, along with the other yogis of that time, had that, um, let's say, the personal privilege of spending that time in her physical presence, you know, not just for pujas, not just for havans, but, you know, for a cup of tea, for a chat, for a picnic. 
So tell us something about that. I hope I've answered your question. Hello. 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 So, Jeanette, so um, this is the project that we're carrying forward, and we'd love to hear your stories of uh, your time with Srimata G, please. Any times you had with him? My time with Srimata G. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, you went to the public program, and then what happened thereafter? Well, after that, I started going to meetings. Mm -hmm. But I was still cautious and dubious with my Jewish background. But um, I, I knew enough to continue. And everyone was so lovely at the meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and later on, much later on, yeah. I helped with the Hampstead meeting. I helped uh, Colin Heinsohn. Yes, when was that? Colin, Colin yes. Yeah. I helped Colin with the Hampstead meeting. It it wasn't, at first it wasn't in the meeting house. It was more in the, uh, the, the, the community centre. Wow. And um, that's where mostly it was. But I used to go to Swiss cottage meetings uh -huh. and the pujas, of course. Uh, I remember uh, one puja mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, that we went to in um, Switzerland. Yes, tell us about um, it. And it was the time, the Chernobyl, do you remember the Chernobyl? Yes, Chernobyl and disaster. We were in yeah. Switzerland, and I remember Sri Mataji saying, "Don't wow. open the windows." In Switzerland. Wow. Don't do it. it was that weekend, and mm. I, you you asked if I have photographs. You know, I recently moved into this sheltered accommodation last year, yeah. and I still got boxes to unpack because I was ill and this, that, and the other. Of and I've looked, I can't find the photographs, but I I remember having a photograph and yes. Colin was on this photograph and, uh -huh. uh, that we'd taken that was, would, you know, at the time in Switzerland when Chernobyl was. Amazing. So that was some time. Um, and there were, you know, we had lots of pujas with Mother. There was a lovely one in, in Brighton. And then a puja in um, Margate in Kent. You, know, you probably know Margate. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. We had a lovely puja in Margate. So the Chernobyl um, disaster was on 26th April in 1986. So you were having probably um, a puja after Easter there, isn't it? And then... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yes, tell us about the pujas, uh, the Sri Hanumanu puja in Margate. What was it yes, like? I mean, just incredible, really, in oh. Mother's presence to have. You know, the people today, the youngsters, they've got their realisation mm. and and they, they just follow. They're so deep and intense, but they don't have what we had. Were you so blessed? Indeed, mm. yes. In this, mother's this. presence, all these putas. Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, re I'm recalling now. Yeah. I say I remember the Brighton, and the Brighton people were lovely. Yes. The Brighton Sarjogis were lovely. Mm. And um, uh, I was very, and the pujas we had in Hounslow and um Shooty camps, I remember shooty camps. Yes, of course. Do you remember shooty camps? Do you know? Yes. Is that before I, I your have, time? It was. Shooty yes, camps it, it was before was, your time. It was, well, um, right, and exactly. there I made friends with um, Uma and Raja Nadaraja, who are now oh, yes. in Australia. Yes. 
and they they had two deaf children. Both their children were deaf. Right. But Nadia, do you know Nadia at all? Yes, yes. we saw yeah. her acting in a uh, play. Um, she, she's Sophie wonderful, Deb. you Isn't know. She? What she's, Very she's, talented, yes. Yes. So I'm still in touch with her. Uh, we, we talk about twice a year. Uh -huh. um, yes. And nice. I was very, very fond of them. And yeah. and I recently saw her on the website. Um, oh John Watkinson has just produced this book. Yes, did and did those feet. It's supposed to be a wonderful book, yes. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, indeed. I remember John, you know, from the yeah. early days. Yeah, yeah. So tell us some a miracle that 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 comes to your attention as we are talking. A miracle. Or oh, a miracle. there have been so many. I know. So this many. is the thing. Where do you start? <laughs> I I should have tried to recall them really. No, it's all right. Don't worry. Uh, it's just so... She, she has hmm. saved me when I've been in trouble and in an awkward situation. Uh, she's been there, really. Oh, I forgot to mention that yes. when I went into the first in Tamstead with John, yeah. um, everybody, all the shoes were outside. And, of course, you know, that was my... Um, mm -hmm. Not my, the Jewish people don't take their shoes off. Only yeah. in synagogue. <laughs> and then I went in and it was like going into the Holy of Holies. Mm -hmm. It was just so amazing going into that wow. room where humanity was. Amazing. At that time. Yeah. Wow. And what... What was it that um that kept you going? I mean, of course, Shimataji's presence was so magnetic itself. I it still is just mere her mere photograph. You look at it and you're drawn to it, isn't it? Um, well, it was just it, it was just so wonderful. I mean, you know, we, you yeah. know, really, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Um, I had, she might have just get me going because of what it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So in the beginning, in the beginning, did you did you sort of meditate morning and evening, or how was it for you? Because there's always this mental, what shall we say, argument uh, with our conditionings or with what we know. Um, to what we should do. What did were you ever in a situation like that? Uh, to meditate? Yeah. Sorry? Yes. Well, all I can say in, in my later years, the these years, yeah. Um, I don't meditate. I I I sit for a few minutes, I put the band on and I say mantras, okay. but I don't deeply meditate. But strangely enough, I said to uh, Fergie, mm. when I just led, uh, lit the incense just before our talk, yeah. just before we saw and I don't feel vibration so much these days because of all my illnesses and whatnot, but mm. when I lit the incense, it, there was wonderful, wonderful vibrations. Yes. That I felt. Yes. Really, I, I, I understand that. Um, recently, my my own mum is not has not been very well after the physical passing away of my father about two and a half years ago. And she barely speaks, but she's a great devotee of um, Srimataji. And all she said when Shankarji and I visited her uh, in, in in end of March, beginning of April, um, was Jay Srimataji, you know. Um, so it, it it is, I think, as, as times get by, uh, it is not so easy physically for, for yogis like yourselves, like my mom, and so many more around the world, no doubt, to be as collective 
as one would yes. Yes. Is I, I, I'm not collective. Uh, no. yeah. Probably not physically, but... Uh, but, I just but not like... physically, but I, well, I, the, 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 I have the, um, the website, you know, mm. the community, so that yes. keeps me yes. within and, and knowledgeable and knowing. Absolutely, and so yeah. important as well, isn't it? Oh, yes, this? yes. And it's wonderful. You know, what? when I, I got my realisation, it mm. wasn't in all these countries, and now yes. it's in all these countries. Yeah. Even R Russia, there's such... There was, uh, I don't know if you saw recently, there was miracle photographs on the website. Did you see that recently? Tell me about it, please, because I can't remember such. Oh, the, which one are we talking about? It was a photo, a wonderful miracle photographs, mm -hmm. and there was, oh, there were lots and lots. I don't know how many, but that I had never seen. But right. the ones from Russia, uh -huh. with the light over them, was just incredible. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. Wow. You know, what's going on in Russia now? And yeah. yet the, the, there's so many wonderful sadhogis. There was Amazing. light and light covering from all of them. It wow. was just incredible. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Do you remember, do you remember uh, Shamatji, mother cooking for the yogis when you were there? I remember going to Chelsham Road. Yes, go on. Tell and us about and it. Um, they were cooking. That she mattered. She didn't. When I went to Chelsham Road, she mattered. She didn't cook, but oh. um, but they were cooking for she mattered. So this uh, Chelsham Road must have they, been about nineteen ninety, early nineties. Do you think? Yes. Yes. And we had many pujas with Mother at Chelsham Road. Of course. And the first marriages, yeah. Sahaj marriages yeah. took place there, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Go on, tell us about it. Tell us more about it, please. Well, it, it was just a very special place. And, and to have yeah. Shumataji there in person. Yeah. Doing pujas, you know. When you think about it now, you can't believe it, really. Isn't it? <laughs> and already it's only, what, 20... You no, know, there she was in Chelsham Road. June 2020. She's laughing, joking <laughs> with everyone. Yeah, yeah. And I remember one, when I very early days, yeah. the Shumatiji was sitting there and... Uh, there I was concerned. Now she, she, you know, she always says in her talks, don't worry about your brothers and sisters, don't worry about your family. But I just went up to her and said, oh, my sister has diabetes. Oh. <laughs> she said, oh, tell them to take this, that and the other, you know. Right. Okay. Now when I think about it, <laughs> you have to laugh to think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was just concerned with these little things. Yes. What do you oh, think? Sushumna, it's lovely to remiss and talk to you. Oh, it's so kind of you to take the time out and talk to us. Thank oh, you. Oh, well, it's time. my pleasure. I haven't felt vibrations like this for a long time, so it's it's done me a lot of good. Jay Shumatji. Jay Shumatji, thank you. Jay Shumatji. God bless. Again and again. Thank you so much. Bye bye, my darling. Bye bye. 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 I'll... We've done, I think.